Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this video. So here we are going to talk about the face mesh module which comes with TensorFlow. Right, so it's a React application which you're seeing right now currently running on my browser. And what I've done is I've integrated TensorFlow with the React and this is what I am getting as the final output. So let me just show you everything and then we will talk about uh, the coding part. So coming back to the application, if I let's say comment out this particular code, right, these lines of code. So what is going to happen to this face mesh? Let's just check it out. So there are 425, uh, you know, plus points which this face mesh detects with the help of which uh, it is able to recognize each and every part of the face, right? Which comes in front of the camera. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm seeing the dots, you know, you, we are seeing the dots and uh, there are some dots which are, you know, you know, able to locate my eyes position. There are some dots which are able to track my lip movements and, you know, I can, you can see the code is able to detect my complete face using this, you know, mesh kind of a thing. Now, if I change the code a little bit, if I change this interval to, let's say, 1000, then what will happen to that face mesh? Let's check it out. So earlier the interval was 10 and now it is 1000. Let's see how the detection will happen. Okay. So if I'll bring it here, so. Right. So that is how you can control the movement and you know speed of the detection. So it is able to detect my face but you know after every one second it is uh, trying to locate my face on the screen. Okay now if I want to uh, increase it I can simply reduce it down to 10 and automatically the animation will become faster and it will detect it will uh, you know shoot that detection code after every 10 milliseconds and instead of shooting the detection code after every one minute it will after every one second see so after every 10 milliseconds the detection code is getting executed and you can see the output here so we are able to see the dots only right now if we have to connect all these dots what we can do we can simply you know on uncomment this these lines of code and this is what we will finally get as the output. I'll have to refresh it again. Okay, let's just wait for the output and now now the output which you will see is, uh, you know, the one which you saw just when you came in uh, the video. See, so now there are lines which are connecting all the dots and it's a kind of mesh which it has created. If you want to play with the color of these dots and these lines, so that is what that is what is also very simple. So what I've done here is I've defined the colors over here. So for the dots, we have kept the aqua color. Let's change it to uh, something else. Uh, what we can do is we can change it to pink. Okay, and let us change the lines to black. Okay, so the this is the stroke color. And if I'll do a refresh now, let's see what kind of a mesh we will get. So the mesh will be of the same dimension, right? But the color schema of the mesh will change. So let's just wait for it. And yeah, so this is what we are able to see now. See? Okay, so, you know, this is a functionality which uh, Snapchat uses for you know, doing the emoji stuff when you bring your face in front of the camera and you know, you <coughs> see different emojis coming on your face It is able to detect your ears or they are able to detect your ears also, your hair, right? So all this thing, all these things happen because of one library that is TensorFlow, which Snapchat uses in their, uh, you know, code. So if I'll bring my hand, you know, nothing is happening. Okay, why? Because it's just for the, uh, you know, face, facial expressions. 
same thing can be done with help of uh, you know same thing can be done for the hands also you know hand tracking also can be done body tracking can also be done right let's now talk about the code so what i've done here is i've created a simple react application as i've told you right and this is uh, the app.js file in which i have used this face mesh uh, named module which comes with tensorflow then we have this webcam so the way we have open cv right which works for accessing the which we use for accessing the camera of the device uh, with python same uh, is what same as what we do in react but the libraries names change right in react we have webcam something called webcam and in python we have open cv now this is helping us uh, in opening the camera and then we have created two different uh, layers you can say right one is with name webcam and the other one is with name canvas so this face uh, this face mesh that you're seeing it's coming from this canvas okay if i'll remove it from here let's see what's gonna happen whether this uh, will come or not so i'll have to just comment it out or let me just remove it like this and let's see what's gonna happen Okay, so I'm seeing uh, an error. Okay, I'll have to change the entire code then. No, let's not do that for now. Okay, let's keep it as it is. And if I'll just refresh it, let me see whether it will work or not. So right now it's working, the camera is on as you can see, but we'll have to see whether the mesh is going to come on the screen or not. So it, it, it takes a bit of time, right? Yeah, so it's, it has come. So as you can see the nose, you know, we have some uh, points over here in the you know uh, over the nose then we have some points over here near eyes we have some points over here near near my lips and this whole uh, you know fish structure you can say uh, this face mesh is able to detect now let me just talk about the code so what we have what we have done here is we have created a function right named uh, run face mesh right inside which we have created another function right with name net okay and we are passing the resolution here we are running this detect function after every 10 milliseconds so what is there in this detect function this is the one which is actually helping the camera in detecting the face and putting the face mesh over it so this is what we are doing we're checking whether the input we are getting from the webcam is uh you know well defined okay it should not be null and it's in the ready state then if everything is fine if the webcam is on and you know the face is there in front of the camera then what all things should happen so we are capturing the video width we are capturing the video height then we are passing it to this the current video properties we are setting the current video properties here then we are then we are setting the canvas properties here okay <coughs> After that, there is a function named draw mesh that we are calling, and it's it's a two D image, right? Which our camera because our camera is two D, right? That's why we have kept two D over here. And then what is this get, uh, draw mesh? So we have defined another JavaScript file, which in which we have defined this draw mesh function. So these are, you know, this is the triangulation constant that we've defined here in which we have you know different coordinates and different points so there are more than 425 points for how uh, let me check the exact number so i think maybe there are more than 2500 points which are present over here then this is the draw path which is actually we are using for connecting the points with each other then we have this draw mesh which is helping in drawing the mesh kind of structure right and here what we have done we have created a tri we are trying to create a triangular kind of structure okay so because in in a triangle we have three points right that's why we are dividing the triangulation length with three so as to get all the three points and then we are constructing the triangle here and same thing we are passing to draw path okay so this is how we have created this application i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot you can also try it out in case you want my help 
in creating these kind of applications, definitely you can contact me on the number which you're seeing on your screen. This is it from my side. Thank you very much for joining me. Please keep sharing my videos and uh, please keep sharing my channel's link in your in community, in your you know different groups you're a part of. I'll be really grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. Bye-bye. Take care.